Welcome, this is our tutorial on refillable cartridges that can be used to replace original Epson 502 cartridges inside your printer. You can order from us just the kit of refillable cartridges or the combination of the cartridges with the useful bundle of Octopus Fluids refillings compatible for Epson 502 cartridges. It also provides the necessary refill syringes, comes with rubber gloves for protection and some cotton swabs for cleaning. The refillable cartridges have a fill port for the printer ink on their top side. This opening is closed with the plug in original condition. Also on the top side there is an air vent. When receiving the refillable cartridges also closed by a plug as well. Each refillable cartridge is equipped with an auto reset chip. The ink level status that is shown thanks to this auto reset chip can be set back to the status full. That does not require an additional reset device. In our opinion also very useful, the cartridge bodies of the refillables are made of transparent plastic material. That enables you to see clearly how much ink is inside physically. On the cartridge's bottom side, there you can find the outlet port for printer ink. It is covered by a plastic foil. Please do not remove this foil. It is punctured when installing the refillable in the printer's printhead compartment for the first time. Getting the compatible printer ink into the refillable cartridge is really uncomplicated. Start by removing the plug out of the fill port for the refill ink. Directly from the bottle we use the syringe with mounted needle and take 11 milliliters of ink into the syringe. The needle's blunt tip is inserted carefully into the ink tank using the port on the top side. And the printer ink is given from the syringe into the cartridge slowly. In the case of the black ink shown here, we drew up more than 11 milliliters of ink into the syringe. That is why not the full content from the syringe is filled into the cartridge. We recommend to use always the complete set of refillable cartridges in your printer. This is why we have decided to show how each of the four refillables gets filled with ink. The filling process is actually the same for each cartridge, independent from its ink color. It helps when there is some air inside the syringe at the beginning of taking ink into the syringe. Then it is easier for you to read off the scale how much ink is already inside the syringe. The refill syringes and the blunt tip needles can be reused too. Planet Earth strongly recommends to do so. When all the cartridges are filled, just rinse the syringes and the needles with clear water. Let them dry and they are ready for the next filling of the cartridges. The filling of the set of cartridges is completed now. Each refillable contains 11 milliliters of octopus fluids ink suitable for Epson 502 inkjet cartridges. Next step is to set the cartridges into the printhead compartment in their intended positions. Right before installing the cartridges in the printer, remove the plug from the ventilation opening. The open air ports prevent that negative pressure builds up inside the cartridges during printing and ensures a sufficient flow of ink from the cartridges towards the printhead. Each cartridge must snap firmly into its place inside the printhead compartment. This way the ink port is reliably opened and contact between the chips on the cartridges and the contact pins inside the printhead compartment is established properly. All cartridges are in and on the printer display we have confirmed that we completed installing the cartridges. You can see the message that the cartridges are no original supplies made by Epson, which is correct. With the next steps we confirm that we really intend to use the refillable cartridges despite they are no original cartridges by Epson. When reaching the end of the confirmation, you can see here that the refillables installed by us are recognized with a full ink level status. 
With the use of the cartridges in the printer, the displayed fill level then also falls with the corresponding ink consumption. You can see from the yellow cartridge that the low ink level status is indicated by an exclamation mark on the level bar. Due to the alternative chip, the empty message of a refillable ink cartridge is different from the empty message of an original cartridge. The display indicates that the cartridge cannot be detected. This is the same as the ink depleted or cartridge empty status of an original cartridge. To reset the ink status from status empty back to status full, the empty cartridge is removed from the printhead carriage and refilled with suitable printer ink. Then the refilled cartridge is placed back in its position in the printer. On the printer display you confirm again that the cartridge exchange is completed and the printer starts processing this information. After digesting that data you can see that the yellow cartridge freshly filled with yellow printer ink has a full status bar again. Once more we have to confirm the use of this non-OEM material and with a happy ending the yellow refillable is recognized successfully and shows a new full ink level status. So far for our tutorial about the alternative refillables for Epson 502 cartridges. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. We hope that our tutorial contains some useful information for you and we hope to see you again at another Octopus TV session.